of you will get lost in there. That's long-term memory, an endless warrant of corridors and shelves. I read about it in the manual. Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for films that utilize our current understanding of the world to tell great stories using good science. Sorry, Dave. I'm afraid I can't do that. Number 10, Deep Impact. The opening of this disaster flick is a little silly. An Earth-killing comet is discovered by a backyard telescope before professional astronomers. Oh, I'm in such a hurry. Still, for the most part, the film's science is sound. Unfortunately, it was lost in the 1998 shuffle thanks to the success of another film about a deadly celestial body, Armageddon. While Armageddon is generally considered to be scientifically absurd, Deep Impact is well regarded by scientists. Unlike the Michael Bay classic, Deep Impact addresses the struggles of microgravity in space. Sure as hell don't have enough propellant left in the Messiah to, uh, to maneuver with. Most importantly, the film ends with a piece of the comet landing in the Atlantic Ocean, causing a massive tsunami. Scientists were very impressed by the visual effects and the realistic betrayal of how a tsunami that size would work. Number 9. Minority Report If you set the core concept of clairvoyance aside, Steven Spielberg's Minority Report is surprisingly accurate. Lamar, they found me. Spielberg consulted experts to accurately portray tech like retinal scanners and motion tracking software. But it also predicted several types of technology we see in action today. It shows driverless cars, a technology currently working out technological kinks. It also presaged the advent of voice-activated smart homes. I promise I'll make it a memorable moment. On the darker end of science, Spielberg's sci-fi classic foresaw the influence of technology on the state's ability to surveil its citizens. Corporations get in on the action too with personalized ads. In real life, smartphones, cameras, and social media give governments, private individuals, and companies the ability to obtain all kinds of personal information. John Anderson, you can use a Guinness right about now. Number 8. Moon Besides showcasing the incredible talent of Sam Rockwell, this 2009 sci-fi flick is a scientific masterpiece. What's the motive? Look, it's a company, right? They have investors, they have shareholders, shit like that. What's cheaper, spending time and money training new personnel, or you just have a couple of spares here to do the job? Rockwell plays an astronaut in a lunar habitat mining helium-3. While we currently don't have technology to utilize helium as a primary energy source, it does exist in large quantities on the moon. Today, we deliver enough clean-burning helium-3 to supply the energy needs of nearly 70% of the planet. On Earth, we are suffering from a helium scarcity, so it is conceivable that, were a major use for helium beyond balloons discovered, we would need to mine it from the moon. The technology featured in the movie is incredibly realistic. Moreover, its depiction of the long-term effects of isolation hits differently on the back end of COVID lockdowns. Three years is a long haul, you know, it's way, 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 way too long. <laughs> Number 7. Inside Out Neuropsychologists were quite impressed with the metaphors contained within Pixar's Inside Out. We're taking the train of thought. The train? Of course! That is so much faster. But how do we catch it? Well, it kind of goes all over the place. The major gripe with the film is its use of core memories, a concept taken from computer science and not brain science. Sadness? You touched a memory? We talked about this. Oh, yeah, I know. I'm sorry. Get back in your circle. Still, the film depicts a simplistic but accurate picture of how memories and emotions interact. Emotions can have significant effects on the way memories encode and affect future behavior. In truth, every time a memory is recalled, it is slightly changed. In the film, sadness changes Riley's memories, which they laud as a great example of how emotions impact the retrieval of memories. Emotional significance is a great indicator of whether a memory will be stored in our long-term memory centers and can color the memory in the future. I'm positive you will get lost in there. That's long-term memory. Number 6. Contagion The 2011 Steven Soderbergh movie Contagion found a second life in 2020 during the earliest days of the COVID-19 pandemic. Doctors, epidemiologists, and the general public began to appreciate the parallels between the film and the real-life consequences of the virus. What's that, fomites? 
Uh, it refers to transmission from surfaces. The average person touches their face two or three thousand times a day. At the time of its release, scientists compared it to Ebola, SARS, and the Spanish flu. While some inaccuracies remained to compress for time and story, it's largely accurate. The origin, a mutated bat virus, is similar to COVID's likely origin. Tracking the virus through contact tracing became commonplace during COVID. Don't talk to anyone. Don't touch anyone. That's the most important thing. We'll send somebody to meet the bus. Okay. I'm on my way to you now, Aaron. <laughs> <coughs> its discussion on infection rates was informed by epidemiologists and again reflected our collective COVID experience. WHO estimates that it could take nearly a year to manufacture and distribute the necessary amount of the vaccine to stop the spread of the virus. Number five, contact. Carl Sagan was modern America's first celebrity scientist and his involvement in the adaptation of his novel Contact helped with the film's scientific accuracy. The movie centers on a SETI scientist who makes contact with aliens. Trying frame two. Uh, I've got an offset carrier here. I think it's audio. Well, plug it in, plug it in. She decodes their messages and discovers blueprints for a device to take her to them. Many astronomers laud the film for its fidelity to SETI's methodology and ethos. Like the real life SETI, contact is made through radio transmission. The physics too are accurate, insofar as the level of knowledge available at the time. It's so accurate, in fact, that a normal audience member could easily get lost in the sauce of scientific jargon. In many ways, contact is a love letter to astronomy and physics. You're an interesting species. Number four, WALL-E. WALL-E, besides being a poignant story about loneliness, love, and friendship, is a surprisingly prescient movie when it comes to science and technology. It takes our current issues with pollution, ravenous industry, and capitalism, and projects them far into the future. We're over to the driving range and hit a few virtual balls in space. Now we did that yesterday. The Earth of Wally -E has been abandoned by humanity who took to space to find a future. The filmmakers consulted biologist James Hicks about the rigors of space on the human body over generations. Mechanical systems. Unchanged. We have to core temperature. Unchanged. Passenger count. Unchanged. He took studies on microgravity and human bones and muscle and used math to calculate that over generations. The result is the corpulent, technology-reliant humans of the film. Wouldn't you know rising toxicity levels have made life unsustainable on Earth? Number 3. 2001 – A Space Odyssey Stanley Kubrick's collaboration with Arthur C. Clarke on 2001 – A Space Odyssey resulted in one of the most beloved films of all time. This sort of thing has cropped up before and it has always been due to human error. It's also one of the most scientifically accurate films ever made. Unlike most space fiction before or since, space in 2001 is completely silent. The ship's design was based on scientific principles, as is the depiction of microgravity. It's a wonder to think that it was actually released the year before humans walked on the moon. In the middle of the space race, the movie portrays astronauts as rigorously trained men of science rather than swashbuckling heroes. I'm sorry, Dave. I'm afraid I can't do that. Moreover, it tackled the ethical dangers of artificial intelligence decades before we've been forced to tackle that dilemma in real life. Easy. Easy. Give me your answer to. I'm Number 2. Interstellar Complaints about the loud score aside, Chris Nolan's Interstellar is arguably the most visually stunning film of his career. The space travel scenes were directly influenced by Kip Thorne, a Nobel Prize-winning physicist and the movie's science advisor. Interstellar has been praised by astrophysicists for its brilliant portrayal of a black hole. So a wormhole bends space like this, so you can take a shortcut through a higher dimension. Okay, so... To show that, they've turned three-dimensional space into two dimensions, which turns a wormhole into two dimensions, a circle. What's a circle in three dimensions? Sphere. It includes gravitational lensing, or the bending of light inside and around it. 
While the time dilation seems fanciful, it's based on our modern understanding of relativity. The gravity on that planet will slow our clock compared to Earth's drastically. It also tackles the vulnerability of the global food supply. A disease called the blight has infected food crops around the world, leading to widespread famine. Earth's atmosphere is 80% nitrogen. We don't even breathe nitrogen. Blight does, and as it thrives, our air gets less and less oxygen. The last people to starve will be the first to suffocate. The spread of GMO monoculture crops leaves us all vulnerable to similar issues in the future. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into settings and switch on your notifications. Number 1. The Martian the Martian is the story of astronaut Mark Watney, a botanist stranded alone on Mars. He faces the incredible real-life dangers of Mars exploration. It's a dead, frozen planet with no atmosphere to speak of and no liquid water. The film also acknowledges the most pragmatic difficulty of Mars exploration. Our current technologies would make a Mars-bound journey six to seven months long. Accelerating immediately to preserve velocity and gain even more. We don't intercept with Earth at all, but we come close enough to get a gravity assist. In truth, the film is full of actual NASA technology, like the habitats and water reclamation. I gotta figure out a way to grow three years worth of food here on a planet where nothing grows. Luckily, I'm a botanist. Watney saves himself by growing potatoes on Mars, an experiment replicated by NASA. The most remarkable thing about The Martian is that, despite hyper-focusing on realistic science, it tells such a vivid and compelling story. Hey there. Are you a science buff like us, who shouts at the screen when they get the science wrong? Comment below with your favorite scientifically accurate movies. We have a jogging track? Did you enjoy this video? Check out these other clips from WatchMojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.